Hello and welcome to this lecture on continuous integration and continuous delivery with Docker. My name is Mumshad Manambet and we are learning advanced Docker concepts. In this section, we will learn about how Docker integrates with CI-CD pipeline. In this lecture, we are first going to understand what a CI-CD pipeline is. So this is for those who do not know what it is already. And if you already know what it is, feel free to skip this lecture and go to the next lecture, where you can see how Docker integrates into the CI-CD pipeline. So the CI in CI-CD stands for Continuous Integration. Let's say we have multiple developers working on the same application. Each of them have their own feature or bug fix that they are working on, and they are all contributing to the same application by pushing their code into the same code repository. The code repository could be a version control system like GitHub. When a developer pushes a code to the repository, it is linked to a build management system like Jenkins, for instance, that takes the code and builds it. If your application is based on Java, then you can think of this as a jar file. Since there are multiple developers pushing their code to the same application, we would like to make sure that it builds correctly and does not introduce any new issues into the application. For this, we could configure the build system to run tests on the build package. A popular testing framework is Robot Framework, which can test your application APIs or web interfaces. Once the tests pass successfully, we can confirm that the build cycle is complete. This whole process of enabling multiple developers to work seamlessly on the same application without stepping on each other's toes and at the same time ensuring that these new changes integrate into the application without introducing any new issues is known as continuous integration. Now the second part of CICD, which is CD, refers to two things, continuous delivery and continuous deployment. The difference between the two can be a bit tricky for the beginners to understand, so I'm going to try and explain it in layman's terms. So far, we have coded our application, built and tested it all through automated uh, pipeline using code repositories and build and test systems. What do we do once testing is successful? The next step is to release our new version of the application. Now that could be packaging the build application into say an executable or an RPM package or into an ISO of some kind and make it available online so users can download and deploy the application in their environments. Releasing the software this way automatically through a pipeline is known as continuous delivery. CBL Labs Serena is a good example. So the next step would be to take the packaged application and automatically deploy it in a target environment. This could be an on-prem cloud solution like PCF or public cloud platforms like Google or AWS. So this process of automatically updating our production environment with the changes in the application is referred to as continuous deployment. So if you look at it again from the beginning, when an application code is changed and pushed to the code repository, it is automatically built, tested through a build pipeline, and then released through a release management system, and finally deployed in production to a target environment. All integrated and automated without requiring any manual intervention. This is referred to as continuous integration and continuous deployment. 